Welcome back to the Cosby Show, everybody. Do, I'm do, your... do, 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 <laughs> because it's do, back. It's do, back on TV, do, do, guys. Do, 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 it's do. literally on again. Yeah. I don't know why. I wasn't even doing. The, I don't. I, I don't even know the Cosby she, Show. Yeah, theme. I'm pretty sure that was a totally different. That was theme song. you can call me Owl by Paul Simon. That's like if I, I was like. Why. It's like if I was like, welcome back to the Cosby Show, and you were like. Honestly, I would not be surprised if he's if he's at least pitched that idea because he we know Felicia Rashad is on his side. So you're yeah, she's like, I'm down to do the show again. I I think it was a complete breach of justice that he was incarcerated. Also, I would totally work again What's if somebody would just give me work. What's the name of the American? It's something Huxtable. I don't remember. Man. Alfred Huxtable or something. I don't even know. I to be honest, like. Here's the thing about Cosby, like I true like fuck Cosby because I never even grew up. Well, oh, don't go on a lens. I know, I'm not trying to pull the rest of the room. Tom Crescenzo does bit, not uh, like Bill Cosby. A little po- I know, a little polarizing Woo! there, too. not to not to, you know, Hot divide takes. the crowd or anything, but you know, I just never grew up liking. Like he was never a legend to me. And the only thing I ever consumed from him was Little Bill. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's not like I was a Same. huge fan. And when I'm he Nick when Jr. he first when he first got accused, I was like, "But Little Bill was so great." Little Bill, <laughs> little Bill grew up to be Bill the Rapist. Yeah, little, <laughs> little Bill grew up to be Big Bill. <laughs> if you little, know what I mean. Little Bill grew up to get little pills yeah. <laughs> and oh, put yeah. them in his drinks. Little see, pill. See, we're off to a good start. Yeah, all right, we're doing it. We're doing we're it. Some, podcast on. We're hitting some back. dingers. We're hitting some dingers. I'm Jack Simmons. But yeah, we're, yeah, you're Jack Simmons. I'm Tom Crescenzo. Last time, Bill Cosby's tried. free. Bill Cosby is no longer a rapist. Yeah, I mean, apparently he's <laughs> not. He's not. <laughs> I don't According know. According to some un, you know, s- sort of murky legal loophole, he's not a rapist anymore. I thought, you know. I mean, I totally thought. Based on the evidence that was presented, that he was a rapist, but it's apparently just, this legal loophole has dictated that you he's know not, what? which is it, cool. You know, he's what happened. That's was, cool. There was probably like a hundred women that got together on a Facebook chat and was like, "Which eighties uh, sitcom dad should we accuse of rape?" Yeah. <laughs> and they all decided at once to accuse him. They're like, "All right, whole, ladies, we're all gonna accuse Bill Cosby." It right? was like the ocean. same ten year span, right? <laughs> It was like the Ocean's Eleven of rape accusations. Like they all had different plot. They all had different roles in order to take down. Was, Bill Cosby was like the Andy Garcia. It was like a real conspiracy. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. He was like the Terry Benedict of. Uh, but yeah, so he's. I mean, okay. So the thing is about this: the guy is. He's an eighty-three-year-old guy. <laughs> I, yes, he's a free man. But at the same time, it's like he's going to live the rest of his life as a national pariah. Yeah, but he won't care. He's yeah, just he old. Will. Now he's just going to be old and he's, blind. Why and do like, you think he's trying to, he's talking to like all, uh, these executives about trying to get a Well, he's maintaining his innocence. That's yeah, that, proof but, that... But that's, does, per- that's proof that he cares. No, that's proof that he doesn't care. He's like, yeah, they. I'm not a rapist, according to me. Give me another TV deal, please. Like, Yeah, <laughs> but he's going out of his way. If he's making efforts to make a... Uh, um, a documentary about himself, which we just, I think it's just rumor. I don't think it's really confirmed, but apparently there's rumors that, well, that there just might shows... be a documentary from like showing his side of the story. But that just shows that he's a psychopath. It's like, you know, you know, you, you raped people. And now you're trying to show your side <laughs> of the story. You fuck you. Like you... my side of raping them. So here's the thing. Like they were asking for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the whole documentary. He's just Bill Cosby. Like, they my were asking side for of the, My side of the story. What the fuck are you talking? What is this like a point of view documentary? Yeah, man. It's like Cloverfield. It's like... like sort of a half documentary, half narrative piece. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, for what it's worth, and I'm not trying to, what a, it's like the guy's not gonna rape again. I can't imagine. You never know. I mean, who knows? I can't we, imagine. We need to watch Betty White. Dude, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> he just drugs Betty White. He's so old. Hi, like, I'm Betty White. He'll probably like fall asleep while like trying to fuck them. You know yeah, man, I mean? did he fell asleep while he was trying to slip somebody's drink? Like, dude, like you were like you're just hanging out with Bill Cosby. Like, so Bill, 
after all this shit happened to you, what do you think about it? And then you just hear the glass shatter and you just turn around and you just pass Bill. out with, with like a full bottle of Vicodin in next to him. It's like, oh, Bill. It's like, oh, that quagmire. Oh, <laughs> Bill. Who else but Cosby? <laughs> it's Cosby. It's Cosby. Cosby. Never really know who he's going to rape next. He's Cosby. I, the thing about it is like, if we... If, he, if that happened, they would just be like, all right, we're going to tuck him into bed. and like, yeah, It's like, all right, Bill, 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 relax. Okay, you can't, no more raping. Bill, Bill, Bill somebody get, get the fucking eye, the fucking shot. But honestly, so he's, what I'm trying to say, so he's trying to make this documentary, right, which about showing his side of story, which means he cares about how people think about him. He well, cares of course about he cares about how people think about so him. So what I'm saying is he's going to be affected but by he's the not fact a that Tony, he's a national pariah. But, but, but who cares? Like, you know what I mean? I don't care that his life is going to be somewhat bad. I want it to be fully bad. I want him to be in hell until the moment he it's dies. It's going to be that way. No, it's not. It's not going to be hell. He's not in jail. He gets to just... Like, if he wants... Like, if the documentary doesn't improve his favor, he can just ignore it. He can just be like, whatever, I don't I'm care. Gonna I'm, like my life. I'm just going to live my life and drink coffee and be old. Like, Until I die. He doesn't deserve that. He deserves to die in a jail cell you know what? Listen, after getting raped by many other prisoners. See what you like, want about the guy. What I, appreciate about it, what I appreciate about him is that he doesn't curse in a stand-up. Yeah, is, I mean, that's true. That's like, a real thing. We really need more clean comedians Common. out there. That's one he's thing like a, He's like a wholesome rapist. You know yeah. what I mean? He's like a, he's like a family oriented rapist. He really is America's dad. He's <laughs> <laughs> he's like a rapist with good values. Yeah, he doesn't he's a, curse. He's not down in the gutter. It's like, yeah, he'll rape you, but he'll still come to like your training. You know, he's not going to use any four-letter expletives. Yeah. That's the real crime, in my opinion, is when somebody has a sailor It's like, he'll mouth. rape you, but God damn it, if he smokes weed. <laughs> Those, you know what? Yeah, you, you kids with your cursing. Yeah. You should have done it like he did. Fucking <laughs> Bill Cosby. I don't know. I... Maybe I'm like a piece of shit, but like seeing that, I'm like, yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I mean, I'm kind of like that too because it's like the reasoning behind it. Like they're just like, yeah. well, yeah, this prosecutor promised him you he really wouldn't be charged, the and then they used evidence from an old trial, and it's like it's like it's so convoluted, and everyone just kind of like. Well, fuck. I mean, it's yeah. like it's like I don't want him to be out, but I can't really explain. I mean, so like, like why? Like, what, I mean, maybe. so like to, to like those who do not know, I the from what I understand, and I I might be mistaken. The whole thing is that when you get in um, subpoenaed to testify before court, if the case is about you, um, you can deny the subpoena because. Otherwise, you could be at risk of incriminating yourself. So, as part of your rights, you do not you uh, you have the ability to say no. I'm not going to go on to and testify in court. Um, but he struck this agreement with the prosecutors, where if he would testify in front of court, they would not charge him with the rape that he ended up going to prison for. But the thing is, after he testified, they did charge him. So they fucked it up by doing that whole thing. See, it's just the problem with, like, how, like, 2005 versus 2015, like, it was only 10 years later, but it was just such a different, like, everyone was just, like, by 2015, that, nobody, this case, it happened like, nobody, by, but well, you know what I mean, like, 2015, nobody was <laughs> thinking about 2005 anymore. Like, time just moves so yeah. fast. Like, it's so easy to forget that bullshit. Where it's like, like oh, yeah, we fucked it up, like, yeah. ten years ago. Even I though guess. there's, like... Well, no, they fucked up, like, a few years ago. Well, kind of. Like, I mean, it st- stems from what happened in 2005 when he first got accused. Yeah, but the whole allegations didn't happen until, like, 2015. Well, that's the, when they brought it back. Yeah, you know, well, that's when, the, that's when it became mainstream. It yeah. was really... I mean, it was really... And, and like, you know... I know people talk about this a lot, but it really was because of Hannibal Burris' this whole stand-up I mean, yeah, it's like, that brought like, <laughs> national attention to I, it. I was thinking it's like Hannibal probably saw this news and he's just like, well, I mean, it's, uh, it's still kind of skyrocketed my career either way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kick the shit out of this Hannibal <laughs> Burris now. Like, where is that? What if Kaiser where just came that? out of jail? <laughs> what if Kaiser just came out of jail and he was like fucking jacked? Like every yeah, right. he's, he's doing, doing like, like up. he's been doing sit ups with, yeah. with like a photo of Hannibal <laughs> Burris on the wall. He's like doing sit ups and like, hoof, hoof, hoof. and then yeah. you see him, you see him like lifting weights, and he's like Hannibal. Like, he has just like a, a like a, a fucking man, like a 
he's just carving X's into a calendar on, on a wall every single day. And with, like, pictures of Hannibal's face. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking get, get the, until he like gets the, to the end. He's like De Niro in Cape Fear. He has, like, like, ready yeah. to fucking... <laughs> he, has like a, like, he has, like, a fucking voodoo doll of Hannibal Barr. So like he just pokes I'm it gonna him. kick this shit. Dude, but it's just, like, honestly, if it... I mean... I mean, no, I mean, truthfully, the man deserves to be in jail. There's no way around that. Yeah, no, of course. Like, there's no way around that. It was a total fuck-up. But, you know what, I guess you can't blame, like, you know, people didn't realize at the time, like, well, you know, it is what it is. Like, legal shit is fucking complicated. It is complicated. It's not like, like... Yeah, and you can't even retry it. It's like at this point, somebody should just try to murder. Well, the thing him. about <laughs> it is also he. The thing about it is he has. That's only one accusation. He has sixty accusations. But the fucked up thing about the law here is that there's the statute of limitations. Yeah. So rule. it's like if you accused him forty from forty years ago, it's like, like well, it was forty years ago, you dumb cunt. Yeah, like that's like, basically what the law. He's says. kind of like eighty one. He wasn't like, really doing any raping in these past few. Like yeah, it's like it gets to the point where it's like the law, and I don't agree with it, but the law is basically like yeah, like fuck, fuck you. That was too long ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, and yeah, I mean, yeah. I think the truth is just because it's Excuse about me. the evidence. It's like our judicial system is based on hard evidence mostly, you know, for the most part. Yeah, and like. You know, it's hard to prove a rape that happened f- 30 years ago. Let alone, was... like, five, let alone, like, a month ago. Yeah, even, like, yeah, even, like, even two days ago. Like, if I tried to accuse you of raping me, like, and you really did it, like, it'd be hard to prove that you did. Like, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard. To prove. Jack raped me, guys! <laughs> All you have to do is look at my record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Just ser- kidding! And your search history. Just kidding, disclaimer, I'm not a rapist. Kidding, I'm only six months old. Yeah, exactly, I'm yeah, old. Jack Simmons. You can't be a rapist at six months old. Yeah, you can't. I saw, I saw, I uh, saw, not to completely, but I saw this uh, other thing on Twatter today about um, the new Alien movie, and it said You're not, making another Alien movie, not a new Alien movie, a new Alien TV series about like Alien, like the. the but here's alien what I alien? said. Here's what the headline said. It said uh, the al- new Alien series will not focus on Ripley's character, but will instead focus on. How inequality affects us all. It's like, like, why? Like, sounds fun. It's like, but b- 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 why? <laughs> yeah, it sounds it's like... It's based a... on a movie about aliens that eat... Coming people. out of It's fucking... based on a movie that, yeah, about aliens John that Hurt's breed. Chest. They breed by forcing babies into yeah. your stomach that burst well, the thing about chest. it is, So the thing about it is, like... It's like, the... no, that really says a lot about, like... The thing about it is the, wo- the woke-tarians were, like, saying, well, yeah, I mean, all the old aliens were... They had, like, political messages about the evils of corporations and... It's like I get what but you're not saying. like really. That like, wasn't uh, the, at the forefront of. Yeah, the like the story. corporate. It was kind of like a backdrop. It's like oh yeah. It was yeah. like a metaphor you could look into and be like, oh, I can see where they're like the point was never. Oh yeah, yeah. like let's watch this. I mean, movie in aliens, that... in aliens. Sorry to interrupt, but like in aliens, like Paul Reiser was like the the evil corporate guy. But you know what the thing about it is like it's it, that it was never the commentary that the villainy right. in those movies was meant to raise the stakes and like. Yeah, there's commentary and it works as a backdrop and part of it, but that was never the point of those movies. The point of those movies was like, I want to see a bunch of fucking crazy ass aliens get yeah. shot. Like, yeah, I like, want to see aliens rip people apart. Yeah, I want to see people get their organs ripped out. Like, I'm not. Yeah, like, hey. it's just like it's like who. Like, these are not the movies that I'm looking for for the commentary on the bureaucratic right. faults. It's also, life. it's just like, it doesn't, like, when I want, when I, alien movies are about fun, right? All yeah. movies like that are about fun. And when I see a headline like that, I'm just like, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah, like, it, it also just, like ma- it makes me think the new show is going to be shitty. It's yeah, like, it just, uh, it's just like, I don't want to be lectured to, come on, man. It's like somebody's going to be like, we shouldn't, uh, look, if we're going to police the aliens, we shouldn't kneel on their necks. We should <laughs> police our language, too. Every every show now is trying to have some sort of political message, and you're just like you're just sort of it, it's like a drag. It's just like I don't want to fucking. You know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's like at the end of the day, fucking... like it's important to make art that rep- represents politics, but tacking a political message onto a so like to, a, to an Hannah, already you know, mainstream, well known franchise that already has a fan base that's expecting something. Yeah. You're asking for people to just not like Well some this. of it's just not subtle. That's where, like did you ever watch uh the Captain Marvel movie with Brie Larson? 
like part of that movie is pretty good with the whole '90s flashback, but some of that movie, like the feminism stuff, was so obvious. Like they're they're at the end of the se- at the end of the movie. Spoilers. Uh, she's facing off against Jude Law, who turns out to be the villain, and like he's like, "Come on, fight me! Show what you're show me what you're about! Prove to me that you can defeat me!" Blah 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 blah. And like she just zaps him with a laser or some shit, and she goes, "She's like, I don't have to prove anything to you." It's like, come on. It's like, ugh. It's like, I paid to see a comic book fight. Yeah. I paid to see action. I paid to see motherfuckers flipping around, kicking. I didn't pay to see you zap him in a Yas Queen moment. It was such a Yas Queen. Like, literally, you're just like, Yas Queen. Like, you, uh, did I pay to see you? Like, uh, like and you know that that act, you know Brie Larson, like, I respect her as an actor, but you know that she fucking, like, masturbated to that lady. She's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so hot. She probably made that... She's like, I want this scene. The might not even in the original script. She's like, we need to make this. It's like, like you know what? I want to express myself as. We don't need woman. to. We don't need men as to tell us white, anything. As the white blonde lady who yeah, was cast exactly. as Captain Marvel. <laughs> as as the oh, white so progressive as the white beautiful blonde. As the, as the white strikingly gorgeous woman. Yeah, with the blonde white, hair. Almost ten out of ten blonde that was cast as Captain Marvel. Yeah, you're really like. This is you know. Very yeah, this is, this is you're really breaking the mold here. Really shocking like America with your depiction of a main character there. I think when Brie Larson went on uh, some podium and she was speaking to people and she was like, she was criticizing white uh, film critics and she was like, you know, white male critics, a wrinkle in time, like, I don't want to hear what you have to say about that movie. It wasn't made for you, okay? And it's just like, it's like who was the movie made for? Yeah, what are you talking about? It's like, I've, I've, I've never seen a movie. Like, I'm pretty sure Movies that, are made for everybody. That's yeah, it's not like point, when, when Spike Lee made Do the Right Thing, I'm pretty sure he didn't get on TV and say, like, this movie is literally only for black yeah, people. It's like, and like, Spike Lee would say that, and he yeah. still didn't say that. You know even what I mean? If, yeah, exactly. Even if he said, I'm like, I don't care, I'm still going to watch the movie. <laughs> it's like, I fuck you, you put the movie out. <laughs> yeah, the movie. Like, even if I watch the movie. Even if I don't see it in theaters, like, I'm going to fucking tour it. Like, even, even if I can't pay for it, I'll tour like I will watch. What are you movie. talking about? They're, so they're tr- what she I think what she's trying to say is that like, uh, because you're not like a uh, because you're not of this identity, you can't relate to the characters. It's like that's stupid. I just hate. Yeah, I hate that. That I, doesn't I, make any sense, dude. Some of the best art ever. You're able to relate to people. What are you talking about? Movie like. Y- I also just hate this doesn't idea. make any sense. This idea that you can't comment on anything if you don't experience, like, yeah, like well, you can't, so you can't review the movie about like a Jewish disabled retarded like gay guy because yeah. you're not a Jewish disabled retarded gay guy. It's like I'm only fuck three you. Out. I can still say what I think about the movie. I'm only like three out of four. I'm yeah, not, <laughs> I'm not retarded. I'm t- <laughs> But I am disabled, and Jewish, and gay. Exactly, all those things. Yeah. But um, you know what I mean. It's like you, just because you're not part of a marginalized group doesn't mean you can't yeah. express your thoughts about a piece of art. Let's just like, like if, you, yeah. if I see, like, like for example, like I watched the Green Book. That movie's technically making a point about racism. It's like you know, what I mean? yeah. like am I not allowed to say that I, it sucks just yeah. because like. I'm white, like... I like Green Book. I think it's not bad. Not, but, like, I get what you're saying. Same thing with, like, any of those movies. Like, you know, you see, like... Well, yeah. Anything like the, that comes out, people will be like, well, I'm surprised that white men have such a problem with this movie. It's like, anybody can have a problem sucks, with anything. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, people... Oh, like, no, would you be so surprised if, like, black people had a problem with Dukes of Hazard? It's or, like, technically or, that show's not for them, but, like... I remember a few years ago when uh, Black Panther came out. And it's like, if you weren't dick riding the movie, it was seen as, like, being racist. It's like, it, what are you talking about? This is just, like, a superhero movie made yeah. by a corporation. Yeah. This, like, this isn't some, like... I mean, I'm, I'm happy that there's a black... A super, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to... That is cool that there's a black superhero that, like, kids can look up to and everything. I'm not trying to... No, but you're right. It's all just corporate pandering. But, like, like, you know, let, let's end, keep it... Yeah, let's keep it real. At know? the end let's of the day, of, yeah, it's, it's like, not. yeah, I, I get the pride behind it, but at the end of the day, there's a white billion-dollar film producer who jerked off with a lot of hundreds that he made oh, yeah. off that movie, and then he jizzed on a bunch of underage hookers afterwards. Like, you know, about corporations. Not, there's, there's nothing truly noble... Yeah, about a billion dollar blockbuster. There no. just isn't like. Well, it's, it's like here's the thing about corporate America is corporate America realized, and I don't know how long ago it was, but in recent years, corporate America realized that 
they can make money off of going woke. And so they did that. Like, it started with, like, the Gillette commercial is in, like, they realized, like, if we put this shit in our commercials, people will buy our products. They'll be like, oh, Gillette's cool. Like, they get, you know, they're with us. And they're just, they're using you to sell their bullshit. <laughs> like, don't, don't yeah. fall for a corporation that tries to fucking, don't ever, anytime they try to be like, we're doing the right, we're Doritos and we care about, no, you don't. You just, you're all you care about is your it's like If you line. really care about anything, like half the salary of your CEO and spend it on yeah. like fucking like people. Dude, like, even it. Amazon, Amazon has like. It'll say, like, Amazon stands with gay pride. Amazon says Black Lives Matter. Amazon, you guys have s- people that work there that are essentially, like, slaves. Yeah, you literally have, you, you, you almost have, have slaves. People. You have homeless slaves, want, like, basically contemplating suicide every day they have to walk into work. And you're yeah, how, acting like you care about anything. Like, you don't, you, you don't have a stand, you don't get to have any moral posturing if you work for, like, Amazon or Apple or Disney or any of these fucking corporations like that. It's crazy that that happens, though, that there's, that... I mean, it's predictable, you know what I mean? These companies just want to look good. Because but people companies fall do get for that sh- bullshit. It's, yeah, it's but like... companies also get shit when they do the opposite. Like, Chick-fil-A <laughs> always gets shit because they're homophobic or whatever. And it's like, you can go one way or the other. You can not comment on anything. You right. can get shit for saying what you truly believe. Or you can, like, you know, just essentially pander. Like, the truth is, none of these billion-dollar CEOs care about any social issues. All they care about is their money and how they're going to make it. Oh, yeah. And, like, if they want you to believe that they, like, give a shit about the crisis in Israel and Palestine, they'll make you do it. They're going to fucking, they're going to have some commercial where it's just going to be, like, showing, like, war. Like, can't we do better? And then there's going to be, like, like, Budweiser. (laughs) Yeah, right. It's like, it's like, (laughs) war is ravaging countries. All across the planet. How can you help? Yeah. Aflac. You can buy our. You can buy our shit. That's how you're gonna like help. You can, so you can sign give us Aflac. Give us money, and you're gonna be helping the world. Yeah. That's what it, it's trying to subconsciously make people think that if they spend money on this product, they're doing a good thing. That's what it, it's trying to make you believe that their product is somehow attached to making the world a better place. It's like, yeah, well, we believe in good social causes, so if you buy our shit, clearly you do. Yeah, so you... Right? We're on the same side. Yeah. You know, we're on a team. We're not, like, the bad people. We're yeah. like a bunch of... We're like a country filled with children where everybody is, like, the good guys and the bad guys. You know, that's how everybody views each... Like, it's... Yeah. It's fucking... It's just like when you're, like, playing with toys when you're a kid. Like, yeah. It's like, like, fucking... <laughs> it's like every... It's every... Everything is just a Disney narrative in this yeah. country. Like, everything has, like, this romanticized... They're good and like, they're bad. Like, story, like, with a big speech where it's like, they started off in the depths of nothing. And now and they now come back. They're proving it's like nothing. They're proving nothing. That's what they said about Biden. They're like, he started off, people thought he was it's like down. He started off as a white guy who hated black people. And, and now, now he still does, but he's more low key about it. He has, <laughs> he has to tolerate one of them as his he, vice president. He had to tolerate one of them and act like he was a subordinate to him. And it was cool honestly, for a few years. Honestly, but... say what you want about Kamala Harris, but I, I'd, I'd fuck her. I would fuck her too. Yeah, like. She's hot enough. She's hot enough. She's not a bad looking <laughs> She has lady. that, like, you know what I mean? She's it's got like, a cute face. You know what I mean? She's old, but you, I feel like yeah. her body's not that wrinkly. Like, no, I feel yeah, like she I, still has a nice, a good amount of Oh, yeah. I feel like she'd be, she'd be good in the sack. Oh, too. yeah. And back then, she'd probably have been a cutie, like, back in the day. I don't mm. know. I mean, she's not, not a bad face. You know who's, you know probably, you know who's hot back in the day? Nancy Pelosi. Yo, back in the Yo, day, I would have railed I would have railed the shit out of that hot fucking lizard pussy she has. You know, that scaly ass vagina. We would, I would have literally like Tom would have been like the shape of water, just yeah, <laughs> getting in, intermingled with this. I would have like you know, I would have been like Avatar, where like I just like grow a fucking ponytail and like we just fuck with our ponytail. She was hot back in the day. She was man. She was bad. She, it, it makes you think like like you know how some people, times people say in comedy that like certain female comedians only get spots because they're hot. Yeah, it's almost like. I wonder if some politicians are like, yeah, Nancy, she only gets the seats because she's fucking yeah, hot. Yeah, you know? it's like, it's like she's pretty hot though. Well, her dad it's like was Mitch like Mitch McConnell's just like, yeah, she's pretty hot. Like I bang her. Like, yeah. 
I just want to come. It's like you said, I think I would, I would personally have sex with her too. I would totally, I would bend her over. Honestly, you know who I would have fucked though too back when she was running for president was uh, Tulsi Gabbard was like a cute Hawaiian chick too. Yeah, I'd bang her, but like, yeah, she never left an impression on me. She had a cute face, so like I, she had. Yo, Hillary, had Hillary back in the day. Yeah, mm. Hillary had some DSLs. Yo, nice blonde some, back then. Some nice Yo, DSLs. She did, yeah, oh, a little thick. Uh, yeah. Our man Bill. Why did no, you cheat fucking, on that homie? Do you have your phone out right now? Look up the fucking. My phone's gonna die. So ah, it's probably damn doing. it! The the prime minister of Finland, uh, Santa Marin is a fucking hottie. Not just from a politician. She Santa Marin. We can probably look it up here. Fucking on here. sexy. What's her name? San S A N N A. S A N N A. M A R I N. Yeah, there she's she the is. prime minister of Finland. She's whoa, dude, she's baby a fucking girl, babe. Holy girl. shit. She's yo, like a goddamn. Yo, does she have Instagram? I'm trying to like slide into her DMs. Yo, <laughs> would, t- dude. Oh my god, dude. She looks like she sells she's feet like a model, pictures on right? Instagram. Yeah, I would totally wank it to her. Yeah, right. Like, I would oh my god! Oh, oh, look at them, girl! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. You she could fucking get it. You sit at that podium she can with that get microphone. It, man. Mm. She's only like ten years older. Oh, than Oh, look at her getting married. She's like thirty-eight. That years guy old. looks like a bitch. I could fucking yeah, take him. Fuck <laughs> him. It's like, yeah, I, that's how you know. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna tot- make him watch. I would totally go for Santa Marin just based on how much of a pussy your husband was like. Exactly. <laughs> just make him watch him cry in the corner. Yeah, right. Just tie him up. Tie him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't leave. <laughs> She's like, you want this, baby, don't you? Oh, whoa, we'll get to the last one. Oh, my. Ooh. She's got a beautiful face. Yeah, yeah right? She's beautiful. Dude, it's like, there's a lot of pictures of her looking really hot. Like, yeah. I think people know she's hot. Oh, that's why. That's how she got ahead, dude. She's showing her tits. Yo, she's breastfeeding. All right. This is a picture of her breastfeeding. Can we pause the can podcast we... so I can jerk off to this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> can we? Damn. Oh my god, she's got a really pretty face. Yo, and she's got like a nice. That baby's lucky. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Just can we see her tits? Does she have OnlyFans? <laughs> Does she have an OnlyFans? <laughs> the Prime Minister's the OnlyFans. The Prime. The prime <laughs> what if she had the Prime Minister just got a? What if AOC just got an OnlyFans? <laughs> Wait, what is this? What? Serial offender? Serial. Finland police said to probe. Why are they spell like cereal like the Santa breakfast Marin's. cereal? They sell cereal like fucking yeah. breakfast cereal. It's like she's like she she like molested the fucking Lucky Charms she leprechaun. Like, yeah, she, she came in a bowl of fruit. She, loops. she fucking raped Count Chocula with a strap on. Santa Marin. She's fucking sexy. Oh, look at these, this guy. What's his name? P.M. Nar- Narenda Ugh. Modi. He's like the ugliest man ever to be next to Santa Marin. What is he? Some fucking P.M. of some fucking... He's the P.M. of... Uh... Sam Castle. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> India? Oh, India. India. <laughs> He's like, I'm just kidding about that Sam Castle thing. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, maybe India. I mean, this is Indian news. I don't know if he's like... Yeah, I don't know. I really couldn't say. Is he a jihad? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just, Just kidding. kidding, everybody. It's fine. All right, all right. Uh, no more of that. Yeah, no uh, more of that shit. Santa but Yeah, Marin. Santa Marin. I would Dude, be fucking holy shit. This. Yo, with she's a got, face she's mask? Beautiful. She's pretty hot with a face mask, too. Oh, my too. God. Her skin is, like, <laughs> look at this picture. We need to post this photo. When we, we need to post this. When the next, dude, that is, you, you can have my babies. Right? Yeah, everything. You can have my children. What did she say that she, she was the promiser of? Finland. Finland? You can she have can my, bear fin, my Finnish children. Yeah, she can bear my children. I would literally, I, I would accept Finnish pride and, oh, God. and like, get my, like, I would become a Finnish. dimples, too. I would become a citizen of Finland just to yeah, fuck exa- her. Dude, she like, got dimples. Oh. I'm in fucking, I'm in love with this woman right Beautiful. now. Beautiful. I imagine she has an only face. <laughs> and it's like, oh, nine ninety nine a month. month. It's not, ex- not bad. It's not that bad. Well, Congress, like, Congress people are gonna have OnlyFans. Give it a time. Oh, you know, like the nice T-shirt during the speech. Oh, oh. my God, it's nice and tight. Oh. Nice tight red T-shirt. We really are such pigs. Yeah, yeah, sure. we're assholes. <laughs> but what if AOC got an OnlyFans? Would you AOC? subscribe to that? Dude, people have like definitely like. Jerked it to Yeah, me. people have definitely. I don't think she's hot. What are you I talking mean, about? She's. I mean, she's not. She's not as hot as Santa Marin. No, not not close. She's not. She's not ugly. She's pretty. What are you talk- she's got. She's skinny. She's got some nice. She's lips. Like bony. She's pretty hot though. Come she has on. a pretty face. Her face. You tell me really you wouldn't beautiful. fuck her. Like, I, I, oh come on. I mean, dude, you wouldn't just. Right, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I see yeah. the push-up bra there. <laughs> 
No, she's got I a mean, nice tits. You know what nice it is body. though? Like she just seems like a cunt. Like she seems like like if you you'd be like eating her pussy, and then like she'd just be like actually like she start she, criticizing she, Israel. Yeah, she's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While she she's like actually pussy. I just think that Israel is really committing crimes against humanity. I'm not into it tonight. It's like. Really? Uh, I mean, fine, but like, is, is that the reason? <laughs> she called me a genocidal. No, she just woman. seems like that you'd be fucking her, and then she'd just be like, "Ah, oh, why is your dick so weird?" It's like, yeah. what? What? <laughs> why it's are like, you so mean? Could you imagine if I asked you how weird your tits are, bitch? <laughs> you know what's funny is that Ben Shapiro would probably furiously jacks off to that every night before going. To sleep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> why don't you love me? Why? <laughs> Why, why, why can't, can't, can't think, you be mine? I think Jordan Peterson might do. Oh, okay. Oh. But I don't know. She's just like... Come on, dude. She's pretty cute. Eh, oh, fuck her. She looks like E.T. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but like when her hair is down, e. when her hair is back. AOC. She got a bony face. Phone Yeah, home. like that's not a great photo of her. She got too many teeth in her See, mouth. I'd rather ban Kamala. Like yeah, you got Kamala, this picture of her dude, next Kamala, to Kamala. Like, I would take... Kamala the, definitely... Like Kamala's... Thick with two Kamala's, C's. I could see Kamala is dummy sack. thick. Yeah, bro, she's oh, yeah. dummy thick. Thick with two C's. Get like, those nice back shots with yeah, her. Yeah, right. It's like yeah, fuck me, you cop bitch. Like yeah. you fucking fed. Oh yeah, uh, fucking the vice president. Yeah, it's like yo, you want to kneel on my neck after? Ugh. That would be just a goal of mine, just because. No matter what story anybody ever had, you'd be like, yeah, well, I fucked the vice president in the ass. So yeah, right. My story kind of beats yours. Whatever ha- whatever you were about to tell me is not as m- cool as that. So, dude, I was just going to tell you about how I graduated and, like, I did it while, like, raising one child and, like, with two, four dick, jobs. It's like, yeah, well. My dick graduated. I, my dick graduated into Kamala, Kamala Harris's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kamala Harris can get it. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, nah, we're going to have to establish that now. Yeah. She can get it. I see. You know who also I would have fucked back in the day if we're going to just get it? Is, uh, I, I would have I banged Michelle, too. Michelle Obama? Yeah. No way. She could get it back in the day. No, bro, like, not to be, like, like, transphobic or anything, but I totally understood <laughs> the trans jokes against her. Like, she does look manly. You think she looks like a man? Dude, she has, like, these beefcake shoulders. Like, sometimes I look at Michelle Obama and I'm like, damn, what can I do to make my shoulders big man, like that? Like, man shell Obama. Yeah, she man shell Obama. <laughs> <laughs> man shell Obama. She does. She has these massive shoulders. She does have big shoulders. Brow, she does. A, she looks like she could be a good waiter. This giant like, cheekbone. Dude, shoulder. not even that. She looks like if I ever need to move an apartment, I should hit her up. <laughs> to help me carry shit down the stairs. Like <laughs> Michelle Obama's been asked to move a lot of shelves. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Michelle, can you move a shelf for me? Like, all right, fine. fine. <laughs> it's like, God, you're such a weak person. This is the third time today. This is and then she drinks like a bunch of pre-workout and she just carries everything on her she one would hand. Fuck, she would fuck Barack like, but Barack would get fucked in the ass, but she would have, like, a strap-on dildo. Like, so maybe they should just, like, angle their pussy upward and then, like, put, like, spun Barack into her <laughs> pussy like a top. Like, just, yeah, just... <laughs> like, oh! Whoa! 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 Change! Michelle, we can believe Michelle, it. This is not the change I was thinking of as the president. <laughs> I wanted to fuck you and feel like the dominant one. You Ooh. can't be spinning me into your pussy like a top <laughs> like this. Michelle... I'm going to need you to respect me as a man and not peg me. See, I want you to not peg me like I'm not going to peg this country. Now, Michelle, if you really think that I'm a man worthy of being pegged, then how could I have been the president for eight years? Explain that, bitch. Yo, Michelle, yeah. I, but you, you wouldn't like, I don't know, if, if Michelle Obama's like, uh, Tom, I'm going to suck your cock. Be like, All right, yeah. I mean, I would do it, but only because she's Michelle Obama. If she was just a random other woman who looked exactly the same mm-hmm. way, I'd be like, no. Like, well, Barack matched a bit. What if, what if I'd like... honestly rather fuck Barack than Michelle. <laughs> I would literally rather fuck Barack. He's more feminine. Man. He has a nicer ass. Like, he does. He has a nicer he does ass. Have, he does have a nice ass. He's, Barack dude, those Obama. cheeks. He has a nice oh, yeah. tight butt like with those cheeks. Now that we're saying about yo, Barack can get it. Yeah, dude, Barack can get it. <laughs> Dude, Honestly, I'd want say, to fuck Barack Obama. yo, all right, marry, fuck, kill Barack Obama, yes, Kamala Harris, <laughs> Michelle Obama. <laughs> well, I would obviously, I would marry Kamala just so I can get why, just so I can get that ass anytime I want. You know what I mean? I got that ass on demand. I always got that AOD. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. High five! Boom! You're right to like people who are married, fuck. No, they don't. Yeah. But I would personally kill Michelle, fuck Kamala, and I'd marry Barack because, you know, I think he has a good work ethic and that's really all yeah, I want. Yeah, but then you, then you got like. Yeah, but then you. Okay, so you're gay. Oh, no, I mean, I'll just remove his dick at some point. As it soon is. as I want to fuck, I'll just be like, yeah, Barack, it's time you're, for this. You're going to be a eunuch. It's time for the old snippy snip. Snip. You know, I, mean, you know. I have a good doctor for this. <laughs> well, Tom. Um, Tom, I, uh, I, do, I don't that, consent uh, to the sex change, but if this is what it takes for you to love me, then I'll settle for it. Quite frankly, I think America's come a long way. You would be going on 60 minutes and be like, <laughs> America, this is my new boyfriend. Uh, America, I changed my sex for the man. Come to a slam comedy show. A slam <laughs> comedy. <laughs> they just be talking about that. It's, it's like, like yeah, promoting a slam comedy show with Obama. I'm just like tagging his Instagram. Like fuck, what is Obama's Instagram? Like, how many is, is this the real one? Like, I mean, he could go on and fucking Andrew Yang was, uh, you know, he went at what the stand, right? Like Andrew Yang showed up at the. At the Did he? Yeah, at the comedy stand. I didn't know that. Uh, what's his face? The bitch ass Seth Simons, who blocked me on Twitter, by the way. What a pussy. Uh, <laughs> puh, puh. What a puss. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your butt. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kick the shit out of you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, fight. What, what were we talking about? Seth Simons at the comedy store. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he said that Andrew Yang was at the. Um, at the comedy stand, he was complaining about that. <laughs> the stand, just kind of like hanging out with the comics, trying to be like one. Andrew Yang fizzled out faster than a, uh, a, a something that else that fizzles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> faster than something that fizzles. That's my improv. What skills. a description. Um, no, he he's out of the race now, Andrew Yang. So he, you know, what a loser. I mean, yeah, nobody like even cared about his run. Like, he was just like... He well, he was just, pulling it. He was basically just like, I want to be the mayor of New York. Because and everyone, would, every single person, it was just like, well, I don't know. Yeah. Like, you, you shouldn't be that. Well, also, it was just like, he was like, I want to be the mayor because uh, people know me and I ran for president. So uh, I'm doing this now instead. Yeah. What? Who are you? It's like, why, what? Why are you doing It's like, you ran for president and lost. Yeah. What makes... Anybody and you weren't even think. A, you weren't even second or third. You were like fifteenth in the presidential. <laughs> you lost after like the new the New Hampshire primary. You fucking idiot. Um, he's a dumbass. Yeah, I mean, I, he's, I mean, he's a smart guy, but he's also a dumbass. Is he a smart guy though? Like, I mean, he has what's to so be smart sp- about him? He has to be a smart guy. He's you know. Does he? He's a. All right, so he's good at math. Yeah, it was you know better than you know. That's a quite a skill. It's better. Hey, we're, I'm not good at math. You're not good at math. You know, you I mean, I'm decent enough to where I'm like, yeah, well, you're I can also run for president. <laughs> we can we can sell a whole lot of shit. We can yeah, sell a whole lot of we can make we can get a campaign going. We, we can little... just make a bunch of empty promises. That's all. Yeah. Uh, I, like we're gonna be like, listen, we gotta get America back into to shape. We need make, to get. We need to buckle down. Make America jacked again. Yeah. <laughs> you just say that, like, guys. We need to buckle down. That would we be need, our thing. We we need need, to... That would be our campaign slogan. It's like, it's like Tom and Jack Siegel. America needs to buckle down. America needs to buckle down. We need to get. We need to get it together, people. Guys, <laughs> we really need to just uh, come to our senses just make, here. Just make a bunch of vague bullshit. It's like, so, Jack, what are you planning to do about the um, well, I plan crisis have... between oil companies and the specific Well, I have a lot proceedings. of plans, and um, I hope to address these issues when I become president in a, a meaningful way. That's going to provide a lot of great change for the country. It's like, what do you plan to do about foreign <laughs> policy when it comes to like this specific country? And it's like, well, I, I, I'll just say this. War is wrong. Yeah. And dangerous. War in any honestly, case. War what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah. You know? Like if you really put it on paper. But a ba But up up but up. We can run. You know. We got it. We already have our uh, so all you yeah, all you have to do is say a bunch of bullshit and I, at the debates all you have to do is like, listen, this guy is a fucking liar and an asshole and probably a pedophile. And just keep saying stuff like that, and then you, you win. Donald Trump, f- for what it's worth, 
the guy really showed how easy it is to get elected president of the United States, or really, it, to put it more succinctly, how, it's not true. You how have easy to, it you is. You have to have a show called The Apprentice first, apparently. Well, also, he showed us how easy it is to manipulate people, or what the basic, the basic building. If if you're like a psychopath, you want to learn about like psychopaths or sociopaths, like watch his speeches. He knows how to, he knows how he knew how to manipulate people, and like that's really what it takes to to win an election is to be like you have to to get ahead in politics you have to be kind of you have to be a slimy piece of shit yeah you know the, like you can't be a good person in politics you have to you're gonna have to screw some people over you're gonna have to make <laughs> you have to be a lot like Jack Simmons essentially yeah you have to just get get your way to the top by you fucking fuck anybody in the ass you know yeah you gotta be like Brandon LaCaruba <laughs> a ruthless a tyrant a ruthless tyrant who just Carves, carves his way to the top. Yeah, he's... Dude, Brand's a psycho. No, we love Brandon. No. But he yes, is a psycho. Do. Yes, we do. A little bit. Um, but... Yeah, so Bill Cosby. Yeah, he's Speaking out. of psychos. No, he's, a, he's out of prison. Remember that, everybody? Hey, hey, hey remember that at the beginning of the remember episode? Remember that when we were talking about that before? Um... Dude, what if Harvey Weinstein goes out of prison now? Yeah, right. They're just like, oh my god, the exact same thing happened with Harvey Weinstein. And it'd be like, all right, like now they just have like this a, is kind of bullshit. Now, now they get a podcast together. There's Bill yeah. Cosby and Harvey Wein, Cosby and Weinstein. It's called like Come Clean. It's about yeah. like rapists who want to like <laughs> come clean about like yeah. it's like for anybody who wants to admit that they enjoyed it. <laughs> and our first guest is Tim Dillon, and they just have fucking. He's like, I raped. My c- podcast producer, <laughs> I did. I'm like, what are you talking? What is this guy doing right now? <laughs> like me, 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 me putting pot. Honestly, look, Cosby. I think like, would he go on? Would do you think Rogan would invite him to be a guest on his show? Probably I- not. But Rogan is like, I mean, Rogan. Somebody, is, he's gonna go I'm, on a what podcast. What I'm realizing about Rogan is like. <laughs> Part of his armor against the woke community is his ability to actually cut people off, which is both like I think a good thing and a bad thing. Because like, yeah. for example, when Ari did that whole Kobe Bryant shit, as much as that it was like pretty stupid, right? Rogan deaded him, like you know what I mean? Like he's just dead, like dead to the Rogan squad, as far as I know. Well, he did. Like, I, I think didn't. He, goes he never Rogan. addressed it, right? He never said anything about well, it. Well, I mean, Ari did, but I mean, Rogan never addressed yeah. it. Then, but he just doesn't have Ari on anymore. Like, I don't think they do shows. Like, Tony Inchlift after the Asian thing, like he was gonna do a show with Rogan at like the Creek, mm-hmm. and it got like canceled like almost as soon as that shit happened. Or like Tony Inchlift gonna take it all. It's just like that's the thing. Is, like this guy is. just like he's like as edgy as you could be, Without. and once you cross the line, he cuts you off. You know, yeah. he's like, I'm not trying to be gay. He knows, he knows which side of the, he knows the way his bread is buttered. You yeah, know? exactly. I mean, he knows, like, he, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know about the whole Ari Shafir thing. Like, I don't know if you ever. I mean, I don't know. I just, as far as I know, like, I haven't seen Ari go on Rogan since. Ari Shafir is like. And he was such a regular though. guest. He's not, he's not, like, he hasn't disappeared from the stand-up world. He's performing at Governor's. Oh no, he's time. basically fine. Like yeah, it's yeah, just he's more not, like nothing happened to him. Yeah, you're thinking. Right. I'm just thinking more about like his friend, his supposed friend who right. like, I used to. Well, not he's like, like his I, best I, friend. I, I mostly knew Ari through like right the through Rogan the podcast and shit, and now it's like, do I? Is he? Does he go on it anymore? Like, but I'm ever. saying, I'm saying with Cosby, I think he will go on a podcast at a certain point. I doubt it. He's too old. I, know. Uh, I don't think he can even talk for that long. That's like an hour. Yeah, true. He is also like a <laughs> blind. He's also blind. He's legally blind. What's crazy about that guy is the first uh, accusations are like mid to late sixties, and the last accusation that I know of was two thousand four when he was accused of raping this woman at the Playboy Mansion, and so it's like that's almost. 40 years of your life that you spend like habitually not like every day but that's like a part of your life is that you just you rape people oh i mean yeah that's, that's how just, that's so <clears throat> the weird. thing is that's how psychopaths were like that's what serial it's not like do. but usually like, you, you think of like think... a rapist you think of like a guy over like over a yeah few it's just years, like you, you think of... like just does but this guy is like that's his whole life well no that's the thing but that's more realistic like most serial killers don't 
kill somebody every other weekend. It's not like they're con- like they would get caught yeah. if they did. Like most serial killers. Well, kill, that's like, in a horror movie. Like, they're if, like the the fucking the Westchester bandit strikes again. Yeah, yeah. Like the truth is, most serial killers who get away with it for a long time, they'll kill people like once a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, once a year I murder somebody, I keep it real low key. Then maybe for five years I just don't. Like for right. five years I do like a gap where I'm just like I'm not trying to get caught. Well, like I'm trying like... to, and then like if they come back, they're like, all right, let me start up again. I'm kind of feeling it, but like most serial killers who last for a while, they space out their killings, and the same goes with rapists. Like yeah. any successful rapist who doesn't get caught spaces out his rapes carefully. And yeah. that's the thing is like it is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of being a psychopath. It's a lifestyle of being an evil person who just like it's a it's, you know, well it's the same thing with Weinstein that you the get same, off on this, this sick shit like but the same thing with Weinstein too because it, it's like it's not over if you're it's like that was his whole lifestyle and like since you know Ooh, for like forty thirty years it's just like. That's just the life they know. You know, that's just the life. This is what we do. That's just, this is well because they, they weren't they it, it, at a certain point. It doesn't even become for a while. Like, that weird. wasn't it's just, even, it's just like their normal. I'm not gonna life. lie, and America doesn't want to admit this. For a while, the sleep fuck thing was not seen as like it was always gross, but it's not seen as evil as it is now, which it, it truly is an evil thing but to do. The, but like. That was a fucking, joke. Like, fucking women Yeah, who fucking women out. who were passed out was a joke for a while. Like, you remember yeah. that scene in Animal House where the chick passes out and yeah. Pinto has, like, the devil and the angel pop up on right, her right. shoulder and the devil's like, fuck her. And that's, fuck a, her whole, that's a hilarious fuck movie her scene. Down. Fuck yeah, her right. But it's like, it's funny, but then it's also basically saying that, like, every man has had that debate. But it's, but it's like but no it's man true. should have that debate. No, they, they shouldn't, but like it's the evil part of our sales. Like, but the truth is, it's like that's not true. Like, like you know what I mean? I've been that. around women past that. Like, I remember well, yeah, one time would ever there was this girl like who like passed out in my dorm. Mm-hmm. And like somebody made a joke. He's like, all right, who's going to rape this girl? We were like, ha, ha, ha. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah. But then it's like nobody really did. Like, you know what I mean? It's like nobody actually would have thought to do that because none of us were truly suck- fucking psychopaths Psychos. and evil. Like, you know, it's not like I was sitting there thinking like, you know, she's, she is kind of hot. Though. Like, you know, like that's evil. But like, right. like, this, you know, like, back then, like, in the 80s, that was, like, it was seen as a joke. Like, oh, yeah, I've totally, like, been passed out next to a chick and thought about something. Well, like, um, like, whatever. Yeah, like, no, I, and, like, in, uh, in 16 Candles, the John Hughes movie from 1984, like, uh, there is uh, the, the guy Jake Ryan, you know, he's, like, the jock, whatever, handsome dude. Um, his hot girlfriend, like, passes out. And so the nerdy dude, played by Anthony Michael Hall, like, the jock is, like, here... Like, you know, here's my gift to you. You can have this passed out woman. And, like, he has yeah. sex with her. <laughs> and then the next morning, she's like, hey, do we have sex? He's like, uh, yeah, I think we did. And she's like, did, did I like? He's like, yeah. And, like, okay. And that was it. I was like, oh, Yeah, that's like, a, yeah, I mean, like, you know, like, that's disturbing in reality. But our society, like, you know, people talk about rape culture as much as that's like a woke buzzword that I hate. Like, it truly is. It, I think there is a truth to that because, you know, for a while it was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, women are just, you know, if they're if they're slutting around and being whores, it is what it is. You know, it's like... May, and, honestly, like, like I, I don't think see about, a problem with that logic. <laughs> not gonna lie, they make a lot of good points. <laughs> no, but it is true. It's like you think about, like, you know... Like, even just fucking women who are drunk. Like, for a while, it, like, like, probably until, like, 20 years ago, like, fucking drunk chicks was the game. Oh, yeah, well, like, that was the idea. Drunk, like, yeah. it was, like, it was, like, go to the bar, meet a girl, buy her a bunch of sh- get, get you her, ever hear get the her expression, some drinks, get her nice the and looser drunk. The, the looser the heel, the looser she feels. Yeah. Ugh. Like, you know, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's so like that. Like, like, when you roll that off your tongue, it's like Satan himself is saying, right? Like, <laughs> it's just like, dude, yeah, that 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 is like... But a, that was our society. It was like, yeah, let's go to the bar. Like, we'll meet some chicks. We'll buy them a bunch of drinks. They'll get hammered. They'll want to fuck us. Like, it's like, that was the even, way... Dude, even super bad. like, the the whole, like... And I'm, I know that you can't see these movies. Like, these are, like, obvious. But it's just, looking back, the whole point of, of Jonah Hill's thing was like, you got to get these girls drunk, and then they're going to want to fuck us. 
You know, that was... Yeah, the, like... But, yeah. I mean, the joke more was that, like, they have such little confidence in themselves that they think that the only reason these girls would ever fuck them is if they were drunk. But still, they wanted just... But that's the thing, it's like, it's like when you flip it in, like, this, the nerdy male context, it can seem like that. But like, when you flip like, it the well, other if way, the girls don't want to fuck you, then you shouldn't be tr- getting yeah, drunk Yeah, and you with. shouldn't be trying so hard. It's like, that's the thing, is when you flip it the other way, it sounds horrible. You know what I mean? Like, right, because it's like, well, if they don't want to fuck you if they're sober, then you shouldn't... Yeah, it's like, if they don't want to fuck you, then they, that should be the end. the end. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, no more. Like, you don't fuck But them. that was the major thing. That was the whole plot of the movie. It's like, we gotta get these women... That was the main driving plot of the movie. Is we gotta get alcohol, because we want to get these girls drunk so we can fuck them. And even now, that it still persists. Like, you see, like, in college, like, in a fraternity, like, if there's no booze, like, there's no party. And the reason oh, yeah. they have the booze is like people get well, people, people get like wasted it. and fuck, you know they what I mean? But that's, like, but that's human nature. I mean, that's human nature. It's not. I don't think it's. Women. I don't think it's always rape, but it's it not, definitely allow. Like it's definitely not always rape. Like if two people consensually get drunk together and they were already down to bang, and then they like. I don't necessarily think that's right. Like, you could argue, like, oh, they're both inebriated, so they're not really, like... But I think if they were both already down to fuck, it doesn't count as rape. Like, especially... Even if they weren't down to fuck, if two people get... If two people are drinking and whatever, they just fuck, it's not a big deal. That's just human nature. I mean, yeah, as long as, point as, of, as long as it was all good. That's the whole point of alcohol. Alcohol is an aphrodisiac, and it's also... Uh, you know, it's supposed to make you lose your but inhibition. It's all as long as it's, it's all an good. Alpha, alpha as long as it's all yeah. good. Like, but if you drag a girl back by her, like, yeah. you know, her n- unconscious, non-moving legs to your apartment, and she's yeah, like, should I at least move, <laughs> drag her by her like, arms? Yeah, like gentlemen. <laughs> but it's like that's not that, like a goddamn I, I, caveman. I, that's the thing is, like, people still fucking... do it, and it's like, you know, there's it's it's just hard to it's like, it's like one of those things. Where it's like it's impossible to really police. You right. know what I mean? Because it happens so just, fast. You just can't stop it. Yeah, it's like there's no way to really be there in time. Because it doesn't happen ever in public. It's not like... Yeah. I'm like, I mean, rarely. Like, there are those yeah. cases... There are those cases, and there was a documentary about a few years ago called Audrey and Daisy, where um, it was about... Uh, it was the same people that made Athlete Day and other rape documentaries. This is a little, Isn't this a, a cheerful podcast we're doing? So yeah, far? this is so hot. This is yeah, so, so happy. funny. Uh, but anyway, so the, the Audrey and Daisy are about, like, two girls that were in college, and they got passed out, and, like, their friends, this girl was, like, fucking her in front of their friends at his dorm, and they're like, yeah, fuck her, ha, and they're videotaping. Wait, this, the girl was fucking them? No, this guy, this girl's passed out, and these guys were, like, fucking Oh, taking, I thought you said the girl was The fucking. guys were, like, taking turns. You had me, mate, you had me think yeah. this girl was, like, wearing a strap on, they're like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Ooh, this is so <laughs> no, that's crazy. A, that's, a, that's a similar movie to something I watched last night. Yeah, that that, well, that, no, that's a pornography. No, but, uh, uh, so, like, the, the thing is, they, they were taking turns with the, the girl, and they were filming... Uh, themselves like raping this girl and they put it online and we're like hey yeah, look at this we fuck it and then she like, yeah we herself. did it and I was just, you know the documentary is like about what led up to that show. well did they get charged yeah oh well you know, good yeah, <laughs> it's just, I mean so I don't yeah, know yeah. I don't think their case ever got re- I don't I think the case is still going on at the end of the documentary but like yeah they got it because you know that's a, there's a number of laws. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't even know what the specific the law should well, just be being a piece of shit. Nowadays, back then, it's it's like the rape porn. is one thing, but back then there were no laws about like revenge porn. Like these days, like if I like like if a girl sent me a picture of her titties and I like broke and then we broke up or something and I was like, well, fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna send this to all your friends and family. She could call the cops on me for that. Like that's against the law now. You know what I mean? Like a pretty yeah. sure revenge. Oh, porn. revenge porn, and also yeah. what is big? It was it's actually getting. Damn it! it like, it's a goddamn bitch, isn't it? No, I'm kidding. it's it's difficult. No, what, rev- a, what a fucking rotten deal revenge. we got. Uh, <laughs> what's actually being cracked down though, big time in England, is sextortion, which is the whole thing of like um, pretending to be somebody else online to lure people in and be like, "Hey, baby, what you doing?" Oh yeah. And they're like, "Hey, send me, send us a." Send me a nude photograph, and then you send a picture of yourself with your dick out, and they're like, "Ha! Yeah, well, I'm going to send this to all your friends unless you Venmo me like a bajillion dollars and blah, 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 blah you know, that whole thing. Uh, there is, you know, they're, they're trying to, like, crack down more on the, on that. And what's weird about those cases, though, is do you think that the people normally doing that, like, extortion are just some guy, like, just some random dude? 
but there's like they will have like there's like businesses that will do that shit and they'll like yeah I mean you know they it's like that's the thing a lot of those businesses they some like a lot of times it's just how people make money you know what I mean it's not even like they want to like blackmail you it's like alright like if you don't send me all your like credit card info and your account info like yeah we're, we're gonna fucking like Ruin you, which and then I, I feel like a lot of times, like if you're just like, all right, well, ruin me, then you'll be fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you just like, all right, send it. Like I'll just explain to everybody what happened. Oh like, yeah, I would just be like, but hey. nobody does that. Everyone's like, oh, ah, oh, ah, okay, what do you want? Huh? I'll send you anything. Like, well, yeah, it, to call them on because the, they're you know they're not really gonna send it. That's the thing is like anybody if for for any kids out there that are listening, if you ever get yourself caught up in that situation. Just call them on their bullshit. And be like, I don't care. Send it because they're not going to. Yeah, or just they don't block know. them. Yeah, just block them. They don't know your friends' names. They don't give a shit. They just want to. Because what happens if you give them money, thinking they'll go away, they'll keep asking for more money. And, Jack knows this from experience. Yeah, <laughs> Jack's like, yeah, I lost about thirty grand on I lost it you know, exact situation. Of money. <laughs> Um, that was really difficult. No, dude, when I was in high school, that happened to me, honestly. It did? That was the real thing that happened. Dude, I, how, like, two months ago? Yeah. Holy shit. Yes, two wow. months. Oh, yeah, that's true. When I was first born. Yeah. Um, it was somebody... But it what was, did they do? Like, what? how do they approach you? It was during the days of, like, you know, talking to people. It was... Act- Oh yeah, the days of talking to people as talking opposed to, to now. We don't well, we talk just to don't anything. talk to people. We just go ahead. But we, the days of we like just talking stare to at the wall. And... I think it was honestly like a person Ooh. off Omegle. Omegle. And they're like. Yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of got yourself into this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they. You were asking for this the second you tried to hook up with somebody from Omegle. Yeah, and then they. Uh, it's we... like, yeah, I don't know. They tried to rob me. I did meet them on chat roulette, but we I didn't started, think that was a problem. We started texting. Well, keep in mind, I was like a dumb, horny fifteen-year-old. Right, right. Of course, as we all were. Um, and so like we started texting and yada yada yada. Eventually, they're like, "Hey, send me a picture of your penis," and so I sent them a picture of my. 15 year old dick and uh they're like well now i'm gonna send this to all your friends and and like i was like i I just eventually uh, i just i was like wait a second why did you turn into a dog with throat cancer for a minute while you were like he sent you he's like i'm gonna send this to all your friends and family like It's like, That's actually what I do like, when I'm Your worried. mom walks in the room and says, Jack, are you okay? You're like, rrr, rrr, rrr. It's like what happened? Like, That's yeah. actually what I do when I'm worried. I turn into Louie. Yeah, you turn into Louie. You turn into your own dog. I, uh, but, but, I mean, so like, I, I, I just block them and then and nothing happened. Cause it's just like, yeah. They, they, they <laughs> See, that's the thing about that is like, you were 15. Like, if anything, you could have got them arrested for possessing child porn. Like, your 15 year old dick is illegal. Yeah, exactly. You know that's what true. I mean? Like, I'm, if I like, said, like, yeah. like, I could, you ever think about the fact that you could have got someone arrested? Yeah. Like, if you just, like, let's say you just make meta teacher, you just decide to fuck with them, you start, like, hitting on them, and then you just, like, send them a picture of your dick. You're like, ah, you have this now. Like, you, this yeah. is in your messages. It's like, even if you don't go to jail, yeah. you're going to live your whole... Like, everybody's going to know that you had a picture of a, a kid's dick on your phone. Cops are going to ask you about this at yeah. some point. Like, then nobody's going to want to be your friend anymore. Yeah, like, nobody's going to look at you as a respectable Yeah, you're not going to fuck... It kind of reminds me of my... Uh, I don't think I've talked about this yet, because I've been trying to be nice about it, because I know some people like this guy, but... I, did I ever tell you about that guy, Dr. Spencer... Who is uh, no? He was an ENT doctor for me, and uh, he an actually, ENT doctor, yeah, as opposed to an ENT uh, plumber, okay, or an ENT uh, uh, Mister S- good, <laughs> good one there. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, he was an. Oh, ENT- I got you. <laughs> yeah, you, you got me there. Okay. Uh, uh, so he did my um, deviated septum surgery a few years ago, uh, l- last year, or yeah, last year the guy got arrested. For um, drug dealing, and uh, no, he was selling drugs to a prostitute oh, fuck. in exchange for sexual favors. 
a prostitute was like yeah for for years like oxycontin and shit because she had like a real drug problem. You're just like I was upset because I lost my hookup. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know if. Well, he eventually uh, she died of an overdose. Oh shit! And so the cops uh, went undercover talking to him, and then they picked him up behind Goodwill in Comac. The one that's next to the Elwood Shopping Goodwill Center. Goodwill and Comac. The one that's next to the Elwood Shopping Center. Wow. That was, like, they arrested him behind that. And it's like, that dude, that story was everywhere. You know? Is that where he was hiding? No, that's where he went to meet the, the like, he, they pretended to be the woman. Oh. Like, they pretended to be like, hey, meet us behind here. Like, I want to, you know. Wow. Okay. And then they fucking picked him up. And, like. Th- that the thing about that story was like you know a d- doctor gets arrested for that like that that story blew up that was on the New York Times the Washington yeah. Post it was CNN right. it was everywhere and it's like that guy even if he doesn't go to jail like that's gonna follow him or like every that's the first thing that people will think about for the rest of his life when they think about that guy or when they find out about like if they be like who is that guy oh he's that guy you know that's just gonna yeah it's like oh he's a guy who yeah so that's you know but I mean it's like that's deserved yeah I'm not I'm not <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not fa- you know I'm just, it's like it's like yeah of course it yeah is. that's you know should not, be I'm saying you know <laughs> it's kind of like with OJ like, Simpson it's like yeah the first thing I think about when I think about OJ Simpson is how great of a football player he is yeah, of yeah. course and how he's an all star he maybe. was the he was in the Naked Gun movies yeah and, and he was uh, and he was the mascot for Hertz or not the mascot but the spokesman for Hertz yeah <laughs> he was like one of the first black celebrity spokesmen for commercials i think um really yeah which is like, now we have shack in the general we do <laughs> yeah he's like Come really oj general paved, save some time oj paved the way for me for it's a like, great long night you're gonna lie dude shack why don't you go with like a better insurance like, company yeah like jesus christ shack at least you go with like state farm at least go with an insurance company whose mascot yeah. doesn't look like a ps1 graphic see they're gonna go with Allstate, but they already have like dennis haysbert on there for the past 18 years you know, President David Palmer. All state. You're in good hands. That was he was President David Palmer. Who's the Mayhem guy? Twenty four. Which one's Mayhem? You know that guy, uh, the Dean Winters. But he what? was he was on a Thirty Rock. Is he from Allstate? Yeah. Like Allstate. Mayhem, has, like, it's weird. How Allstate has like two mascots. Two two like old TV actors. Dean Winters. He was on that television show Oz back in the day. Oh, really? Okay. He played he played like a psychopath on that show, like a real like psychopathic rapist on that show. Um, Shit. And then he was on Thirty Rock as one of Liz Lemon's ex boyfriends. He had a recurring role, and now he's the uh, all. Now guy. he's the may. He's now the he's mayhem in all state. Yeah. He's like, my, well, my career is uh, this is what I'm just skyrocketed. In, in hey, way. you know, it's like, listen, he gets those consistent the checks. Pointed downward, I guess. It's like, listen, I'm going to get these consistent checks. Fuck it, good enough. But does he? It's like, you really don't see that many Allstate commercials anymore. You they ever think do. they're just kind of like, yeah, we don't need any ads. We're we already good. got the, we, we got the, we people got the know about customers. us. Like, I mean, it's like, yeah, you see Geico commercials, like, who, who doesn't know about Geico? Like, they don't need... Yeah, they're they still doing really the need... fucking gecko. The guy's like, I want you to to choose Geico. It's like, like why don't you just dude, you, you, like, they, you have plenty of people. You're I fine. hate Geico. I hate the Geico commercials. They're so annoying. Actually, that's not entirely... Some of them I, I do enjoy, but a lot of times it's like it's like that smug, like, oh, we think we're so fucking clever and... Uh, fuck Is it? it? I've always seen them as pretty innocent. Some, some of them are like... It's mostly because I had to deal with some bullshit over a car accident I had with Geico, so I kind of. <laughs> they were just like, "Look, Jack, our it doesn't our coverage doesn't apply to Jews." And there was uh, he was like, "Oh, damn, Geico." It's actually the gecko that said that to me. He's like, "Jack, they don't apply that." I'm like, "Man, if you were if you weren't like a gecko, I would." Fuck so you. if you were literally four inches tall, I would actually fucking re- report you. <laughs> like I'm gonna get a fucking hawk. And have that oh, dog eat you. I'm gonna c- call an owl and have him. He's ripping the guy go get to ah. shreds. Of... It's like, Jesus Christ. He's in a one second. Damn. Oh my god! He Dude, really they... is just a regular gecko. Wow. Do you that's... remember, and I, I'm not to sound like Mr. Memberberry over here, but a uh, member of the. Geico Caveman television show that lasted one season. Oh my god. It had Nick, the, oh. Nick Kroll. That was like his first role. 
Nick Kroll is Nick Kroll was like the main guy on that show. Wow, I before, didn't Before, like, you know, the league. I did not know that. That was his breakout thing, was the Geico Caveman show. Fucking Nick Kroll. Um, his manager's like, this is it. This is this it. This is it for you. This is the next big thing. He's like, yes. Nicky boy, we got the we got the Nicky caveman. Boy? We got it. We got you to get on the Geico caveman show. Like we're gonna get put you in brownface. He's like, oh, what the fuck is brownface? Like not blackface, but yeah, no, also it's, not white. It's, it's, it's the thing about it is, I actually remember watching a couple episodes and like, I was thirteen. I remember when it came out. It was a very specific time, like when that, and uh, it was like uh, you know they they. Uh, Networks used to just, like, try anything, and they're like, fuck it, Geico Caveman, let's give it a shot. And it, it just wasn't funny at all. It I mean, was... yeah, it sounds awful. Even the commercials were not that good. No. It's like, we get it. He, they're they're so, smart. It's so easy a caveman can do it. And it's then, like, we and get then, it. They're actually then smart. Then they're, not, they're, not, that, like, like, they're not, you know, they're not dumb cavemen. They're not, we got... Like, what is the, the plot? Job. Like, he just fucking, like... That show... What was the worst... What, Talk, let's talk about, like, the worst shows from fucking... Ever? Like, at least from, like, the 2000s of, like, bad fucking TV shows. Oh, you know what show was really bad? I remember my sister used to watch this all the time. Zoe 101. Oh, yeah. You ever watch uh, that show? Jamie Lynn Spears, Yeah, right? with, the, with, the, with, the, with the other slave Britney's lesser, yeah. lesser bro- Britney's sister. Britney's lesser other slave sister. Yeah, exactly. yeah. She doesn't have a conservatorship. Yeah. She's like, it's all right. I, I don't have to have an IUD mm-hmm. in me. I have no money. I have uh, no career, but I, I can have a I can have an abortion if I want to. It's nice. Um. Yeah. No. She. But I mean, I just that, remember that, well, that show. Was a, wasn't that a Dan Schneider thing? It was. I don't even think it was. I'm pretty sure it was Disney Channel. No, and it was, I think it was a Nickelodeon. Thing. Maybe you might be. You know what? You're right. It was Nickelodeon. It was. A I Dan think it was Schneider a Dan show. Schneider thing. And you and like Dan. Schneider and this is time you like, made Dan Emma Tires. Roberts unfabulous. Dan, and Jamie's like, so wait, Dan, what exactly am I supposed to do in the script? He's like, listen, feet. For <laughs> <all this. laughs> it's like feet listen, for this whole scene. I'm just gonna take pictures of your feet and film your feet, and then you can read the lines after. Remember it's what like they Dan. say. I. Plead the fifth. Exactly. He's like, remember what Dan says? What does Uncle Dan say? He's like, I don't know. What does he say? I plead the fifth. Okay. No, he's a good man. But man. it was just a, such a boring... Like, it was just one of those teen Nick shows where it was like, I don't know. Like, the and they were campus. trying to like market it for like girls... But they forget that, like, girls at that age, like, really didn't watch Nickelodeon, no. you know? And, like, women, like... I, I, like They're in high school. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, like, like stop watching TV by the time they hit middle school. Or, well, like, they they, they watch, watch, like, different shit. Yeah, they start like, watching, like, shit, like... Like, certainly not shit like that. Like No, they watch, like, Gossip yeah, like, Girl. You're more likely to get some sad guy who's waiting for Drake and Josh to come on at, like, age 12. Like, yeah, you know, like, like why? Yeah. Wasn't it about, like, a college? Well, it was, yeah, it was about, not a college. It was about, like, a, a, a High school. boarding school or something. And, like, uh, but, like, it was, like, a college, like, setting. But they were, like, definitely in, in a school. They were supposed to be, like, teenagers. Uh, and they were just so boring. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? You had, like, discount, like, Drake Bell, like... You like yeah, it's hard to make Drake Bell look like he, he, like more like it's hard to make Drake Bell look like he has like he, like a passionate actor who's really yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah he's a pretty like a, it's actor. to look more regular and boring than Drake Bell less is gangly you know, yeah like, I don't even remember who the actors were in fucking Zoe 101 Except other than Jamie other Lynn than Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears well there, that came out the same time as that other show Unfabulous with Emma Roberts. See, I didn't even watch that. I remember why I was like, I don't care. But I'll be honest, I did see a lot of Emma Hannah. Roberts was hot, uh, despite having like a horse face. I thought. <laughs> really what a good it. compliment! It's yeah. just, <laughs> imagine you met her, say, "Yeah, you're hot, despite having like a fucking horse face." You other weak bitch. <laughs> we going back to what you said. Or we really are pigs. Uh, yeah, we are fucking assholes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mom. But I uh, mom also saw a lot of, um, this. you know what show I, uh... <clears throat> Degrassi. Well, Degrassi, I never even bothered with that shit. I wasn't really a big fan of, um, Dexter, honestly. You with, watch... with Dexter, the the, the the serial killer? Yeah, yeah. I, I never saw it. I heard it's, it's on paper, it's like the most awesome idea. Right. Because it's like he's a serial killer. I heard Of Nick... serial killers. Right. And when you hear that, you're like... Wow, that's cool! Like, I would love to see how you guys like actually structure that and like make that a narrative. But then it's just this really annoying, pretentious, like 
yeah. soap opera ish like where he's yeah. just like he's just like I feel no feelings oh, and I God. have no soul and like I'm so dark and brooding and like nobody understands how I feel nothing and it's like shut up you fucking fuck loser like, shut the fuck up like, I've heard mixed with some people I, that I've talked to say they love that show and other people say I'll they give hate them it. the first season the first season's great and I heard other people say they hate it um, it's bad I mean it's literally just like a boring like it could be so badass and dark and instead it's just like this touchy feely like like and you know what I, he doesn't even kill them in a badass way so he just tapes them to a table and stabs them. It's like, well, I, ooh. It's universally believed that the last season is genuinely terrible. In fact, Michael C. Hall even said that he doesn't like the last season. He oh, no, the last it. season is probably... In fact, they're bringing it back. I saw. I'm not going to lie, the last I mean, season... They're reviving the show. It's the worst mm. fucking ending. Like, there's bad endings to shows and yeah. movie series out there, but this is, like, really, like... It's like, imagine the opposite of what the fans want to see. Okay. And it's like, that's what you get. Like, basically, you imagine, like, what you want is like, oh, I want this insane, crazy, like, ending. Like, I'm expecting, like, you know, everybody's, like, looking for it. Like, spoil I, it. But... Yeah, I'm not trying to spoil it, but it's like, what you're expecting is, like, something crazy where it's like, oh, like, <clears throat> everybody finds out who he, who he is and really what he's up to and, like, everyone's looking for him and he has to, like, you know, hide or, like, mm-hmm. run or, like, you know, he has to, like maybe kill one of the main guys. You know, it's like something that really tied it in where everybody gets to, like, it's like a big battle at the end. Yeah. And instead what you get without really spoiling anything is he runs away and he just lives alone and it's that's it. It's uh, over. And it's just like, oh, thanks. Yeah. I watched eight seasons of this garbage. For nothing. For nothing. Like, I mean... It, it's like it reminds me of uh, reminds me of like the Lost finale of just being like this sucks. Yeah, well, I mean Lost, I never even watched. But I, I love, heard I love Lost, but at the end I was like, oh fuck you. Um, Isn't it just like we're in purgatory? I'm not even gonna say because ah, spoil it. Everyone's seen the show. Nah, there's you know what show I never liked, even though. Uh, other people, it, it was a comedy series that other, that other people are like. Oh, it's so funny. If you like, you know, it's on NBC. It's so, I never like Scrubs. It's oh yeah, even, Scrubs. It's not even that I don't find that commercial Scrubs. Oh, Scrubs at seven. I used to remember that. I don't remember, but it was I, like that comedy I, central commercial. The thing about it is, like, I it's not, I don't even have anything. I don't mind Zach Braff or any of those people. They're all fine. I know, like. But I just don't find the show funny. <laughs> like, there's only so many ways to say that. You know what I mean? There's like that's there's no like. Other, it was one of those shows that funny I. Funny to me. I, don't I would like put it on. And I'd be like, let's try it, and then I would just like zone out. Right. And then after a while, I'd forget I was watching. I'd be like, oh, I mean, that guy. The, the, like... the, the funniest part about that show was uh, Doctor Cox, played by John C. McKinley. He was like the funnier character. You know, the uh, like the sarcastic doctor. Who's... Right. But, like, other than that, I was just like, uh, I don't care. And then Children's Hospital came out, and it was like, this is this Scrubs, is but... Actually funny. People, yeah, people dress like clowns this also. Is, Children's Hospital is one of the best television shows ever made. Is it really? It's, it's, per, I mean, it, it's like, it's, it's Adult Swim, like, stoner comedy shit, but it's, it's hilarious. It's Fuck, fucking, I never checked that out. I never fucking, checked out those live action Adult Swim Oh, it's Swim hysterical, shows. and it makes fun, it, it's, it's all about, it's all a lampoon of those shows, but it's really, it's, it's, you know what it kind of reminds me, it's made by Rob Corddry, you know, from The Daily Show and everything, um, you know that guy, right? He, no. He, okay. <laughs> so you know that guy, right? It's like, the guy no, from, uh, describe him. You know, the guy. He he was uh, he played the villain in the Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. He's he's been in a lot of movies and Hot Tub Time Machine. He was uh, Nick or not Nick the Lou, the one who goes into the like becomes successful at the end of the movie. Anyway, oh yeah, that movie. That right? movie yeah, okay. So you that don't know masterpiece. You don't, that exactly. Movie, you don't know that who won the, all those Oscars. Is that <laughs> hot Hot Tub Time Machine won like ten Oscars. <laughs> but the movie, the, the one show, best picture. the show kind of reminds me of like, like Airplane, and that has those like joke a minute gags. Like it's just constant gags the whole show. Yeah. So there's this constant like, 
it's just rapid fire jokes, and every episode's like fifteen minutes, so it's just you know, it's like boom, 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 boom. boom. Next this, episode, this is Jack Simmons review of great. The Children's Hospital for the Chicago Sun Times. Like, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, like every episode is just like fifteen minutes. <laughs> it's like, I love it. The Chicago Sun. You saying because that's where Roger Ebert. Yeah, well, Roger Ebert. <laughs> Roger Ebert, the Chicago Sun Times. I actually. I don't agree with him on a lot of his reviews. Really, I, I, I. He I'm hated the, the South Park movie. I, I think the South Park movie is good. The South Park movie, I mean, you know, it's good because it's South Park, but it, it's like it reminds me of a, like a, a lesser episode of South Park. I always felt like honestly. Well, it's old. It's like back. It was made in like they were. Yeah, but like honestly, 90, I'm like ninety nine. Like nothing. Against, like I, you know, I love. Obviously, you know, I love. But I just feel like it's. It's not as good as like a great episode of South Park. I thought like it could like in terms of like a South Park movie, it could. I mean, could remember it's also before most of the best episodes came out. Right, but I'm just saying That's like, I, you know, it's like if you're talking about like there, there's like a movie like like it's nowhere near as good as the Simpsons movie. The Simpsons movie. I don't even. I, I, the Simpsons movie is phenomenal. I disagree. I think they're even. Whore, they're fucking sh- even. You shut your whore mouth. Fucking even. You shut your whore mouth. Even. The Simpsons movie's not that good. The Simpsons movie's phenomenal. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's so much better. It's all right. The South Park movie. It's oh. Why do okay. Why do we need to have like a fifty? The whole like. Because Carmen's, Carmen's mom is a big fan. Of, well, like, yeah, but you know what? I like in the Simpsons movie, songs. it's like oh, it's songs. it's the Simpsons, but it's also a message about environmentalism because it was two thousand eight and global warming was on Actually, everyone's it was 2007. mind. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. There's such a big difference. I'm sorry. Simpsons movie was fantastic. South, okay. uh, South Park was not a bad movie. I'm just saying. It's like, it, yeah, like it's, it's nowhere like, near as, as good as like an average episode What was of South so Park. funny about the Simpsons movie? You saw Bart Simpson's dick. Like, there was just more. It's like, ah child's dick. So the, funny. The, the, the jokes were funnier. The writing was better. Was it? Yeah. That's why I found it funnier. I, you know, I, I can't tell I mean, you it was all right. Man, people would probably agree with you. But I didn't think it was that great. I thought a lot of like, there's a lot of Simpsons characters that basically got left out of the movie. Well, yeah, like, you can only fit in. You had, like, no Apu. You had, like, no, like, Mo was in the movie. Well, actually, had, Apu like, is a problematic. <laughs> the but, problem with Apu. The I'm problem with, with Apu. They were, that's, it's like everyone's going to watch the Simpsons movie, then it just turns out it's the problem with Apu. Yeah, imagine like, that. That would be a fucking, that would be a prank screening. I'm going to show you guys the Simpsons movie. And, it's just gonna and then you just problem. show the problem with Apu. Like, this is an interesting thing. It's like, well, I didn't, I, I, mean, fucking... uh, I didn't know that the Simpsons movie was like this, but damn. Hari, <laughs> Hari Kondabolu's fucking masterpiece of a documentary yeah. about <laughs> hard, hard, hard hitting stuff. You know, some documentarians focus on disease or genocide or starvation and, and human rights conference crises. I'm glad we have somebody talking about the important things like Apu from the Simpsons. Like Apu and, and, and the problem with it. That's really what we need to be focused on. And that's on. why I'm glad I saw it in theaters. <laughs> I but uh, I don't know. This Simpsons movie is like... It's okay. Sorry. I, I personally think the Spongebob movie was better than both of Oh, yeah, movies. yeah, no doubt. The Spongebob first one, not the new one, the live action one. Well, no, there was three of them. There was The newest one came out like a year ago. There Did was, it? There is. I thought there was only two. I thought there was the old one that everyone knows and loves, and then there was the new bastardized... Pe- what, Sponge on the Run? Let, not to be biased or anything, but piece of shit version. <gasps> Sponge on the Run. But then there was also one that came out last year. What was it called? I Sponge... Forget. Keanu Reeves had a cameo, though. Uh, 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 sorry. SpongeBob movie. Ugh. You know what? Um, That's just like, uh, why? Like, why can't they just lay SpongeBob to rest? Go. He's been dead for so long. You don't need to make him gay. He died in 2003. You don't need to, you don't need to gay him up. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to gay up SpongeBob. Yeah, you, you turn him into a fucking flamer. <laughs> Hello, Patrick! We're gonna make some Krabby Patties! But it's like... <laughs> Like, I just, people, like, you know, like to hammer things in. Like, they, it's, like, never enough. It's, like, let's have another Man, Spongebob trans, movie. Let's, trans Bob. Trans Bob. Trans Bob. Trans Bob. Any shape he wants pants, okay? Yeah, trans Bob. Doesn't have to be square. Doesn't have to be round. It's any shape. It depends on how he's feeling at that point in the day. Trans Bob non-binary pants. Non-binary. <laughs> trans Bob fluid pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I get. I mean, generally, sponges are not like 
They, it's like, they, they reproduce are... by budding. I don't think they have male, female. Yeah, I don't think they're attractive. Do they? Fucking, I don't, they're not dicks. SpongeBob never had a it's dick. It's like, uh, I think about all the male spon- the female sponges who weren't allowed to play football. <laughs> well, like, SpongeBob wasn't, a, like... I, yeah, like, if, if, that, if we were being realistic, he wouldn't have a penis, because, like, sponge, yeah. sponges don't have He a penis. wouldn't even be a male, so how could he be gay? He has parents, though. He has two sponges... Like a sea oh, sponge, yeah. <laughs> a sea sponge is an actual animal. It's an echinoderm. It's a type of uh, underwater creature similar to that of like uh, seashells, uh, not seashells, sea dollars, sand dollars, or uh, uh, other stuff. But it's, it's yeah, like, similar to other stuff too. <laughs> but it's whatever it, else is in the ocean, you, you like, look like, it up. Not us. It's like a fucking whale or some shit. Like up. a whale, yeah. So. Yeah, sea sponges, but sand anyway, dollars, so and sea, whales. The, 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 the whole, same evolutionary the, the family. The joke behind SpongeBob is that, like, a sea sponge, like, you'd think, oh, okay, there would be an actual sea sponge, but it's, no, it's, it's like a sponge, but it just in the sea. I mean, it's like... That's the joke behind SpongeBob. Yeah. What? What I'm trying to say is the joke is he made it SpongeBob, so you're thinking of, like, it's an underwater sponge, it's gonna be like a sea sponge. But it's not a sea sponge. It was an actual sponge, like a like a sponge you use to wash the dishes. Oh, oh, I see. Thank That's, you for clearing that up about yeah. SpongeBob. You know what? <laughs> People are happy. See, the to joke like... is instead of literally making the cartoon an actual biological depiction of the literal sea sponge animal that they cannot done that. speak, cannot flip around, most people don't know they wear like. hats. They decided to make a fun character that looks more like a sponge. I used to think he was a piece of cheese. That's what my mom used to think. I remember back in the day <coughs> when I first started watching it, like my parents hated it in the beginning. Yeah, my parents. <laughs> and then they started the liking time. it, but they used to hate it. And my mom would be like, "I don't know what this weird show he watches. It's like a talking cheese or something." I was like, "You're not cheese. You're not a fucking sponge. piece of cheese. You bitch. Fuck you." Like, it's a good show. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, my parents hated Spongebob, too. A lot of people did, though. I remember back in the day, well, kids would be like, Spongebob's annoying! It's like, you're a loser, screw you, Spongebob's the best! Sponge- well, I think it was it was the voice either put off. It was one of those voices that it's like, you either love it or it's like if you hated it. Because I can get, like, if you don't like that voice, like, how many are like, that? Ah! Like, oh, if, like, if you're like a parent, right? And you're like an exhausted parent, and you're like going home from a day's work, and you just... You go home, yeah, and you like walk the, in. You, the blaring sound of like, eh! you're like, oh my god, it's like, oh. Ugh. like I have to watch this fucking show again, and, and, like, and then you're just, yeah, star, you're just right? like, I just want to fucking have a drink and masturbate. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like I want to try to convince my wife to fuck me. Like, then I want to instead, my me. kids are watching SpongeBob and I have to hear the sound of, t- of fucking indiscriminate yeah. laughter <laughs> out of these gay sponges. Not these gay. that's good though. It's pride. Yeah, Pride Month. Month. You gotta be proud of being... It's not even Pride Month anymore. Yeah, it's no longer... What is July? I'm so glad it's only a Pride Month. What's July's month? Non-Pride Month. Non-Pride... Shame Month. Shame Month. (laughs) Feel bad about being gay in July. Feel good about it. I'm only only happy about it, though, that it's over, because now no more hacky stand-up jokes about Pride Month. I didn't even see that much. It was all over. Not to sound all gatekeepy, but it was... (laughs) All over the place. You sound a little geeky, especially for someone. It's like, how many mics did you go to where you saw these fucking jokes? Like, I saw them at I every, saw them like one time. I saw I mean, them it was a lot. Ev- no, I saw them at every mic that I went to over the past month. Really? So it's Pride Month. Hey, so... Uh, Meaning it's my favorite month. Ha, ha, ha. Get it? I'm gay. Yeah, wah, good. Wah, well, it's Pride Month. Wah, you know, they don't have any Pride Month wah, for straight people because straight people... <laughs> That was, that's the fucking... Oh, um, whose joke was that? I don't know. Maybe. That's just a generic fucking... Right. Just, you know. So uh, because of that anecdotal evidence, you're happy that Pride Month is over. Yeah, gays, gay people get enough, you know. <laughs> they have too much, they're giving too Yeah, it's much. like you can get married, what do you want? Yeah, they get How too, much more? Jesus Christ. It's like, you know you know who's really the victims in this country? Are, are straight white men. Yeah, I agree. That, that's... that's <laughs> I mean, I think it's it's hard here if you're a straight white man. It's like you can't just fuck any time you want. It's like, what kind of shit is that? Like, I mean, you can, but... I want to be able to fuck anybody whenever I want, 
And that's it. I want P.O.D. Period. P.O.D. Pussy on demand. Pussy on demand. Just fucking... P.O.T. I want to just... Pussy on tap. I just want to click a button. I just want to press a button on a remote. Yeah, it's like, I just want to turn on my DVD and have a pussy walk out. Just, just like a pussy with legs. Me. I don't even need and the rest fucking, of the body. Just make it a pussy yeah. with legs. This fucking, just a dripping pussy, hairy pussy. Somebody to bring me food every now and then. With again. legs. Just, <laughs> it brings me my DoorDash order. Yeah, exactly. And then I don't tip it before I fuck it. <laughs> And then, you know, then you don't have to listen to those boring ass stories about whatever. Yeah, right. it's just like the pussies, like. Women so suck, like, right? Yeah. No, I think they're cool. Uh, yeah. I actually think they're pretty great. In fact, I think women are amazing. It's you. Oh, my God. <laughs> way, to, way to leave me out to dry Sorry, instead of bro. going the wrong way. There was one day. too many ironic dispositions I had to try to come back to reality. Oh, God. Instead of. Now you gotta make me out to be the asshole. Because <laughs> you're afraid of fucking. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid of fucking. You're right. You're afraid of, you're afraid of getting canceled. Yes, exactly. You don't want to get. Canceled. I don't want to get canceled for my career as a nothing. <laughs> as a, as an upsman. As an as a UPS store clerk. UPS, yeah. Uh, UPS, more like. What can Brown do for you? What can Brown do for you? UPS. More like Jew P.S. Oh, <laughs> took the words right out of my yeah, mouth. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Ah, uh, it's one o'clock. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gay. What about you? I'm pretty gay myself. All right. Well, this has been a podcast. I think this has been a pretty fucking great episode. This bro. has been a podcast. Gay Ringe. Oh, ah. Happy Shame Month. Oh, no, happy no. Shame. We support the communities. We support the communities. Love all me. of the, all we of the support communities. everybody. Every community. Everybody. Every community. Whatever you are, really, like you can literally be whatever you want. I do not care. Like you could be a pedophile. Like I wouldn't stop you. Now. I'm not serious about that. And but I will spell it with an F instead of PH. <laughs> Pedophile, pedophile, like with a, a fi- his actual it's a, file. He's a nail file. <laughs> this is a nail file for children. <laughs> no, he just has a file. With him. He's, like, <laughs> he's like, hey kids, you want to? This is my pedophile. Hey kids, you want a manicure? <laughs> it's like, get away! This right, man right. tried to give me a manicure. It's if like, what are you a pedophile? It's like, well, you can say that. <laughs> no, if I ever start using files, I'm gonna start calling my pedophile. My pedophile. I mean, if it's for your feet, you'd be like, well, this is my pedophile. Files. My yeah, exactly. It's like, wait, what? It's like, oh, it's the God. file for my for my feet only. Oh, like, oh, well, I thought you meant. <laughs> I yeah. thought we were gonna have something to bond. No, I thought, yeah, <laughs> I thought we were gonna relate. <laughs> no more. All right. Uh, well, to all the pedophiles out there, you guys have a wonderful night. I mean, don't uh, tell tell Matt Gates. Tell Matt Gates that you love him because we know you do. And uh, I don't know who else is a pedophile. Crystalia. <laughs> yeah. uh, See, we're on the same wavelength. We got that. We got that. Um, James Franco. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Possibly, allegedly. Maybe we'll see what happens. I like with that James one. Franco. I don't want him to be a. Pedophile. I mean, I like the disaster artist, but I like him his other roles too. He's a good actor. I don't want he was him good to in be Spring a, Breakers. I don't want him to be a pedophile. Yeah, I hope he's good. I don't want him to be a. Pedophile. I don't want him to. No. <laughs> I don't want him. He's to my be favorite. A... He can't be a pedophile. <laughs> no, he's... no, 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 no. <laughs> He's, like He's my kid. favorite. No, never. I like him. He can't be a rapist. I like him. I. He's no. He's okay, my no. guy. No. He's my favorite. He can't be no, a rapist. No, 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 no. That's no. it. No. The answer is no. Okay. I don't care what you. The Green Goblin is not a pedophile. The Green Goblin is not a rapist. I don't care if there's accusations. Yeah. He's my favorite. Damn it. I don't care if Seth Rogen no longer wants to be his friend. I don't care if Jeff Ross. <laughs> we gotta separate ties. <laughs> I'm look, James, I, James, I don't know if we can smoke weed together. I'm gonna try to look out for my image. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do this anymore. <sighs> no, James. Well, oh, James. Oh, yeah. Seth. I mean, I hope it's fine. Oh, Drake, Bill. Drake I, Bell's guilty. Drake. Oh, that's another one? Drake Bell. Drake Bell. Kyle Massey. Who? From uh, Corey from That's So Raven. Really? He sent, like, uh, nude pictures to a 13-year-old. 
See, that's so it's like you're not even Drake Bell. Like nobody knows yeah, you're who you Corey are. Yeah, you're in the house, motherfucker. Like, at least people know who Drake Bell is. Like, at least people might be inclined to be like, "Oh, what's happening with Drake Bell?" Yeah. Like, nobody knows who the fuck Kyle Massey. I mean, is. They, like, if you say like, "Oh, he's Corey in the house," like, "Oh, that guy." But, but like, even that, know. it's like I don't think anyone remembers fucking Corey. And that nobody watched Disney Channel. Right. Well, the, that's Except so girls. Ra- that's so Raven was on there. You know, again, a girl show. Yeah, Disney Channel was for girls. <laughs> No, what? Jazz like, well, I have really enjoyed it. Like, you know, whatever. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Corey in the house was like... like no, 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 nobody remembers, like, Wizards of Waverly Place. Like, people know Selena Gomez because she's hot. What about the, the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? I, I remember watching that All show. right, fair, fair. You know? Or, uh, Phil of the Future. Could you imagine if, like, both Zack and Cody got, like, an accusation? It's like, both Zack and Cody. Oh, fuck, man. Like, wow. <laughs> Jesus it Christ. really is a thing with child stars. Yeah, really. It's not just coincidence. Like this is a Dylan thing. and Cole, Sprouse, Sprouse, the Sprousers, the Sprouse brothers. <laughs> Fucking yeah, Kyle the Massey is a, is a perv. Uh, Drake Bell. Um, everybody. Uh, boop. Everybody you like. What if I just said a name of a? Think of your favorite actor, whoever it is. We're not even just who's, actor. Your, who's your favorite actor? Um, Lance Armstrong. You find out. If Who's your f- favorite actor other than that? <laughs> like of all time? Yeah. Uh, Jack Nicholson, probably. All right, imagine that he raped somebody. Are you still a fan? Well, now I'm a super duper fan. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. It's got to be fucking hard. Because you know? you're just like... It's like hard, you know what I mean? It's like... Like there's some... It's like hard. It, like I found out that like... Like Scorsese was a rapist, and I couldn't watch like Taxi Driver anymore. Yeah, I would just be like, "Well, that fucking blows." Like, I'm sad about the rape part, but I'm. I mean, you know, sad yeah, about it the would. Movie too. It would suck. It would suck no matter what. But it's like we. I still watch movies. Like I watch Chinatown's one of my favorite movies ever. We watched it recently. Yeah, but that's different. That somehow, <laughs> like, it's it's just like. I don't know. For me, for I mean, I've never, I think I've never had is, difficulty. Polanski is weird. Like okay? everyone is literally like, like all of society has just decided with him. Wait, like, he's yeah, he's a guilty. rapist. Well, he admitted to it. But yeah, time. people are like he's a rapist. But God damn it, are his movies pretty? Well, good. Think, for me personally, I know some people have said like I I can't separate the art from the artist. So like. I, I I appreciate that that you know, but for me personally, I've never had difficulty doing that. Um, I just view it as two. I just I don't care. I mean, I have, like I can't. I couldn't listen to. Like the fact that there was a Gary Glitter song in the Joker movie, like part of me is I don't like. Even at, think about that. As part that of me is like at least it, song, at like, least it goes with the character. But I'm also like. Like, like you're really paying Gary Glitter royalties? Like, what? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I didn't even, I didn't even he's know a that. Literal. It was the scene where he's walking out. I mean, stairs. I know, I know the scene, but like, I didn't know that that guy was a pedophile. Oh no, he that movie came he out. He was like, he was one of the. It's funny because he was outed as a pedophile in the seventies. Right. Yeah. It wasn't even like, like America wasn't even bugging out about sexual assault yet, and it just Dude, that tur- song. What's like, crazy about that is like that that song is made by pedophile. That's the song you hear. Like every sporting event you go to, like any any baseball. Yeah, football. people don't even give a shit. Da, 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 hey, da, 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 yeah, da, da, it's pretty da, fucked da, up. Hey, I mean it's like because it's such a it's so ingrained in your brain. People forget that that song was written by somebody who did like some the fucked up shit. I mean, he basically like what happened was he, he fucked up. Like he basically took his like in the seventies, nobody knew how to fix a computer. Because, you know, computers were just brand new, and you only really had them if you were super rich. So he would, he took his computer to, like, a tech person, he was like, can you fix my hard drive? Like, it's broken. And while they were fixing his hard drive, they were just like, yo, there's, like, thousands of terabytes of child porn on Jesus this. They were like, yo, there's child porn all over this. And then it was, like, a whole thing, and, like, it, like it, it's just wild that, like... So like, what we're trying to say is don't get your computer tainted. Yeah, what you're trying to say is if you learn how to fix your own computers. <laughs> Save yourself. Yeah. But uh, in that case, it's like, yeah, I would never listen to Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't even, 
the only thing I know about that guy is that he made that one song. I don't know any other songs by him. Well, yeah, most people don't. That's because he's, he's only, a pedophile. He, but that's the thing. Is he's, it's not like... But if you're, he you're not get, like saying like I wouldn't listen to a Gary Glitter but song. If he didn't get you're thinking caught, I wouldn't listen to that song. But if he didn't get caught until 2020, everyone would have been listening to his songs for five decades, and then they would have been like, "Wait, yeah, oh, but now he's a rapist," and people would be like, "But I love Gary Glitter." You know, he what could I mean? have like, he could have just been a one hit wonder even if he hadn't been caught as a rapist. And the thing about it is when you're saying like. You know, like if I I don't even think about it. when I hear that song I think of like like Yankee Stadium because like or just like that that song plays at like all the sporting events and and then when I hear that in the Joker I'm like oh it's that song and then I found out uh, afterwards that that guy was like a perv yeah just like, now like, yeah like, like, no not just now like I found out a while but like I was like oh, okay huh, interesting uh, oh interesting he's a rapist he's Gary a rapist. He's a I mean, you know. I mean, but then there's some things where it's weird. Like, the band Judas Priest is like one of my favorite bands, and they had like a bassist or something at one point. It was a pedophile, Uh, but like he's not in the band anymore. He hasn't been in the band for decades. But at one point, he was in the band. He was working. You know what I mean? Like during some of some of their good records, he was part of the band. Pickle Boy was Pickle Boy from all that. Well, yeah, but then it's like, it's like, do you really want to blame the entirety of all that? No. Or like the entirety of the Judas Priest discography? Right. Like, it's like, there's a limit because sometimes there's multiple people involved in a project. Like, do you look at something like Chinatown? It's like, okay, Roman Polanski's a rapist, but like Jack Nicholson still did an amazing job in yeah. that movie. And like, you know, Faye Dunaway John did an amazing Houston, job in that movie. Hurt Young. Like, like you think about all the other work that Or the went people into that it. wrote it or the people yeah, that the worked Yeah, the writers. Like, yeah, everybody that really the, like, put effort in Lighting this movie and all that, that shit. like really made it happen. Like that's all work that you can appreciate. Right. Like it's not like it's just Louis C.K. Like it's the whole thing. Like so, I think it does depend. Well, you shouldn't compare him to those guys. Well, I'm not comparing him to those guys. I'm like, it's not like it's just like with a comedian. It's like, oh, it's the one guy I don't like. It's easier to cancel him because like whatever, it's one guy. Right. But like with something like Chinatown, it's like, well, this is a, a movie that took like every movie takes like thousands of people to make it. You know what I mean? It's like you're really going to discredit the labor of, like, thousands yeah. of people just because, like... No, it's true. Yeah. And, you know, you and it's like, like... I'm just thinking, like, the uh, the whole... I remember when the whole when uh, the whole Weinstein thing came out a few years ago. His last movie that he was supposed to be making was some uh, movie about Tesla and Edison starring Michael Shannon, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Nicholas Holt. And, like, the, the movie got pushed back because they're like, we can't release this right now, you know? Well, yeah. And But uh, it's just like, it never, like, it, it lost a lot of money. I'm like, it kind of felt bad for the people that just made it. Like, they didn't do anything wrong. They just, you know. Yeah, like, they were they just making They end up getting fucking, they just got screwed over by this guy, you know, in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, that's what happens. And well. that's the thing about cancel culture. I think that's why it has such a grip. Is because it's like, they don't just come for the one guy, like, like when Anthony There's a collateral Jessel, damage. Like when Anthony Jessel like, tweeted that shit back in the day, it's like it wasn't just like fuck Anthony Jessel. Like it's like, well, you know, now Comedy Central's like we're, we might have to like cancel your show, and then like all your writers lose their jobs, like your whole staff loses their jobs. Yeah. Like, so you got to think about what you're doing, guys. Yeah, hey, guys. Don't. Yeah. You, you got to be responsible. Don't. Don't you like it? I think this is how we racist. should wrap.